Hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here, uh, Sunday evening, close to evening, anyway, out here on the West Coast, about 5.30 my time, 8.37 p.m. Eastern Time out there, looking at the latest data on Hurricane Dorian right now, as of 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 184 mile per hour sustained winds with gusts up to 224 miles per hour. Um, pressure right now is about 915 millibars that's up about 5 millibars from earlier when it was at about 910 uh, still moving west at about 4 miles per hour now the professionals and all the, the high paid folks are expecting a stall out right around the Bahamas and then uh, Dorian deciding to take a uh, turn to the northeast abruptly so that's still uh, still remains to be seen. I don't see any uh, indication of that as of right now. Uh, once again, I am not a hurricane forecaster, uh, nor do I really want to be. Uh, now, when it comes to thunderstorms and tornadoes, stuff like that, then maybe I might consider. Uh, but hurricanes, that's a whole different ballpark in its own. Um, we're going to take a look at some different weather model forecasts right now uh, from tropicaltidbits.com, uh, an awesome site. But obviously getting overloaded with traffic uh, from weather forecasters and and uh, storm chasers and just general people that like to see the forecast uh, when it comes to computer you know computer model forecasting and uh, this here is a GFS version the latest one from uh, what is it 18z Sunday there's only a couple loaded up so far so still showing me and telling me that there's traffic being uh, uh, congested here in this website but we'll go ahead and take a look at it uh, this here is the GFS 850 uh, wind uh, and MSLP centers whatever that means but I know the wind um, and we're gonna take a look at the uh, the path for for a couple uh, images here I'm hoping that it will load up I mean it's obviously not my web my uh, internet server but last night uh, when I was doing the update as well I was having the same issue with uh, getting it to load up. So, and that noise in the background is obviously my a parakeet who is obviously getting excited about something. I don't know what. Maybe there's a couple birds chirping outside. Anyway, I think we have enough images loaded up to see the uh, progress that this thing's going to make here, according to the GFS model. Now it looks as though right about there is current is the current position now these are forecasting tools and models that well forecast the future right predict the future so to speak and it looks as though it wants to take a northwest turn and then immediately get caught up uh, in some type of magic pathway um, up to the north with never really making an ant an I in eye wall landfall in uh, the state of Florida now there's definitely some strong winds being associated with it if it were to uh, if it were to hold this path along the eastern coast of Florida but no landfall with the eye uh, landfall later occurs it looks like a South Carolina region um, later in the week that's just one weather model there um, I do like to look at a couple different ones. We'll go ahead and check out the uh, uh, European model. And there's also another one I want to show you guys. I haven't shown it lately. Um, and I don't use it all too often, but someone kind of showed it to me. And we'll go with that one next. Once this one loads up here, once again, this is the uh, uh, 12... Is this the latest one? I think it is. Yeah, 12Z Sunday. Uh, a couple of them are loading up right now. It's going to take a second, obviously, because of the uh, traffic and whatnot and uh, we'll see what this one has to uh, to give us here there's many different models I could look at folks I could look at lower level upper level mid level I could look at different pressures gradients all that stuff is available right here on tropical tidbits you just gotta know what you're looking for and what you're looking at uh, me I, I just I tend to use the basics. I look at the upper level winds, mid level winds, uh, the pressure that's out there. There's a low pressure in the Gulf. There's a high pressure uh, northeast of Dorian. Uh, and right now, I mean, there's really no main, main, 
a weather feature that's going to control it except for itself i mean it's a beast it's a major beast out there and if anything the low pressure could possibly pull it further to the west and uh it remains to be seen so let's see uh we got a couple different models loaded up here let's see if it's enough um yeah so this one still this this model right here the european model has been very very consistent with its uh forecasting features here it's always shown in offshore uh curve so to speak right got a super curve ball right there just some type of magic field you know like a magic wand like you're standing out there on the beach and uh you're pointing at this huge beast coming at you. Go away, beast. You are not wanted here. And then all of a sudden, it goes away. It's been pretty consistent in that feature right there. Uh, there's one other model I want to show you guys here. Let's see here. Let's see. Uh, let me see here. Maybe this is it here. Let me go ahead and check this out. I don't want to get too far caught up in this stuff here. Um, this kind of situa situates itself right on uh, Dorian here. This may even take longer to load up. Uh, this here is the HWRF model of Dorian. Uh, same thing, same height. Uh, and the wind but uh, yeah I don't I'm getting a couple loaded up right now so let's see here hold on one second here folks one second waiting for this thing to load up a little bit this is the composite re reflectivity model of the HWRF uh, model of Dorian and uh, this is pretty much what it would be like uh, as far as picking it up on radar and uh, it's just a composite reflectivity image let me see if I can show you guys what I mean here let me switch over to uh, the radar real quick of this here. I got a latest radar running as well from the Miami region. And uh, obviously it shows uh, it shows Dorian right there. But uh, like I say, kind of with a southwest movement there headed uh, directly towards Miami area. Um, so composite radar is what it's predicting to look like on this radar, on an actual radar system. Um, you know, it's just kind of like another form of uh, predicting uh, uh, what something may look like, whether it's uh, infrared clouds, whether it's wind at a certain height. Uh, but this is definitely uh, uh, it, what it may look like on the ground as far as uh, composite radar, uh, composite reflectivity radar what it might look like here on the radar um, in the next you know I don't know a couple hours or so few few hours um, we got a couple loaded up here let me go back and see here what uh, what this is gonna do here so this this model right here generally takes it takes it a lot closer to the coast now Florida if you could gosh darn it it's just high traffic volume folks so it's not going to let me uh it's really not going to let me um uh, watch it at full speed here for a little bit but florida is there in the view okay it's kind of an outline i don't know if you guys can see it. hopefully you guys can see it it's i'll try and draw it with this box here it never it never wants to show the pointer but it will show like the uh, uh it is show like the uh, gps location here so if you follow this box here you can see a line underneath this box that's the outline of Florida right there. And uh, of course, Dorian out there uh, a little ways. Let me see here if it's gonna speed up a little bit here. 
Okay, so, see, this is the weather model that I've been talking about, at least for today anyway, of a definite inward land, an in eye, in eyewall landfall, uh, which would be absolutely devastating. Uh, looks like towards the Orlando area. Um, this is well inland with some of the maximum sustained winds of, you know, obviously way up there, 150, 160 miles per hour. Um, let me see the exact point where it may make landfall at. It still just north. Okay, right there. Just north there of the Port St. Lucie region where we've always thought it would make landfall. Um, but in this case, we're looking at a landfall right into Orlando. Uh, at least in the Orlando area. We're talking about Port St. John. Uh, looks like Titusville, Merritt Island, Melbourne would definitely be on the hit list. Uh, this is all right around Palm Bay or just north of Palm Bay. Uh, but then again, this uh, this here is just looking at the eye wall itself. So Palm Bay uh, would definitely receive the brunt of, of the winds and whatnot. And then from there, uh, we're looking at Daytona Beach getting pretty smashed as well as we move into uh, further into the, into the uh, weather model here. Of course, further inland that you go, the, the less it becomes organized and uh, it pretty much dis dissipates uh, rapidly. Um, still got a lot of circulation as it heads up into the north there. So this, this weather model forecast here, folks, is uh, it's interesting to watch, right? Because this is about the only one that really brings it really close and inland um, to the Florida coast area. I wish it would hurry up and load all the way. Let's see here. Uh, okay, but anyway. Let's go out a little bit here. So right about, right about there is current time. Right, Florida. So this, this weather model is tracking the hurricane right as in other weather models that I showed you it kind of was stationary and it showed the hurricane uh, moving on the map this this one right here kind of tracks the hurricane and uh, includes Florida which is now coming into view right there with the outline um, and this thing just keeps going west and west and west and then eventually it makes a northward turn but it just slams the central Florida coast right there with uh, some very very powerful winds there um, and then just shreds up north towards the Daytona region. <laughs> that's something that's not good. So we got three different weather model, weather models that we're looking at right now. And um, as of right now, the only one that I really see in agreement with what's going on on the actual satellite is this is this one right here. This HW. RF weather model here the composite reflectivity is about the only one that's really in agreement or the only factual one that I see that's hap that's happening right here on this satellite image right here you bring it up here this satellite mi image picture right here right we're still seeing a westward westward motion with this hurricane Nothing ahead of it is showing any signs of directional change, right? Ahead of it means to the west, towards Florida, off the west coast of Florida, out there towards the Gulf. We're still seeing moisture pulled into the Gulf region um, and headed in a westward fashion there. Anything north, anything north right there, I don't know. I just don't see it being able to control this thing. Um, I think we're going to... Huh. Worst case scenario, folks, I think we're going to see this thing being drawn into uh, the Florida area. Just, right, seeing is believing. That's what I'm seeing. That's what the satellite image is seeing. The satellite image is not a, not a estimated uh, image. It's this, this infrared image right now that you're seeing on the screen is real. It's right now. 
and it's from a satellite in space, right? Obviously, uh, it's from the uh, IntelliCast, well now Wonderground uh, satellite imagery, and that's happening now. So we have to look at the now, uh, and then the weather forecasting models trend around around that, right? They make they make their decision around the now, but they try to predict the future, but. I don't know, folks. <laughs> it may be a big deal. Um, and it may be a long night. It may be a very long night that we're up here. So uh, we're just going to have to see what happens. It is coming up on, uh, what time we got right now? 5.52. In about eight minutes, we're going to have the latest um, updated information on Hurricane Dorian there coming in from the Hurricane Center. So we'll see what happens from there. But I'm not seeing any northward trend. Uh, if it stays at about four miles per hour to the west um, without stalling out, then, then uh, the folks here in Florida are going to be in trouble there. So yeah, come on over. Live stream is up and running, folks. If you're watching this update video, um, we are running uh, a couple different webcams there of the Florida region. And yeah. So, yep, yeah, that's, that's it for the update video. I'll go ahead and uh, get back to the live stream here and uh, post this up on the YouTube channel. Stay safe, everyone. Peace.